Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to be doing a really, really, really simple spring makeup tutorial. It's just a really dewy base with a really, really, really nice pinky highlight and pink glossy lips, bold brows and just a gorgeous pinky silver lid with no eyeliner whatsoever. So it's really, really natural yet really spring-like and you can still tell that you've got makeup on but it just looks so natural and just so... I just really love this look. I will wear it probably every day during the spring. I just think it's such a gorgeous look and yeah it's just so girly and feminine as well. So yeah it's really super super simple to do and I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. So if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and also comment below what you thought of it because I love doing makeup tutorials and I so 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 want to do more. So yeah let's get on with the video and I really hope you enjoy it. As I'm going for a really really dewy look I am just applying my Healthy Mix Serum in the shade 51 Vanilla and my Kiko Hydrating Foundation, which is in a really, really light shade as well. And I'm just buffing this all in with a tapered kabuki brush from eBay. Everything is linked below, so make sure you check it out. And this just gives me a really, really nice, even and dewy base, which I absolutely adore. It brightens my complexion and ensures that my skin is looking flawless, ready to apply the rest of my makeup. Once my foundation is all in place and ready to apply my eyeshadow, I will then go on to apply the Colour Tattoo 24 Hour by Maybelline. And I'm just using the shade Pink Gold, which is a gorgeous spring-like colour, which I absolutely adore. And it just looks amazing on the eyelids. It stays there all day, it doesn't transfer, it doesn't crease, it's just incredible. I'm just applying this with a really, really small detailing brush which is quite flat and shiny, so that it just really, really just gets into all those grooves of my eyelids so that I know that all of the pigment is there and I know that it's not gonna transfer or move or crease. Then I'm just using the Love Your Look palette from Live Love Makeup Obsession London and I'm just using a really, really nice light gray silver tone shadow and I'm using a really, really tiny detailing brush here. And then I'm just going to buff it all out with a really, really nice fluffy kabuki brush also from eBay. And this just really, really adds a nice gradient ombre look, which I really, really like. Then I'm using the MUA Elysium palette. A really, really nice shiny, shiny, shimmery pink, which I'm just concentrating on the inner corners of my eyelids. Then once that's done, I will then go in with the Live Love Makeup Obsession palette once more and use the same grey tone shadow that I did and just apply this to my lower lash line. I think it's done for my eyeshadow look. I will then go in with the Laura Geller Style Lash Intense Lengthening Mascara. And this mascara is the best mascara ever. I just think it's incredible and so underrated. Then I go in with another Laura Geller product, which is her Universal Brow Pencil. And this is a gel formula and it just makes my brows look so, so gorgeous and volumized. I'll just comb them with the comb that you get on the other side. And then I'll use the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I absolutely adore, and I will just make sure that everything's set into place with this so that it just stays there all day long. Then I will use a Makeup Revolution palette, which I adore, which is that Ultra Blush palette, and I use a really, really nice pigmented pink blush. And I just go in with a flat kabuki brush and then I add a slight contour to my cheek with another colour that is in this palette and this is a more brown colour. The palette I use is the Golden Sugar palette and I adore it. Then yet another Laura Geller product and I'm using her Balance and Blow Baked Foundation. I'm using this as a finishing powder though so that I have extra coverage and I'm also using an Eco Tools Mattifying Face Brush as well to apply this. I'm using another MUA product. Yeah, I'm just applying some really gorgeous pink highlighter to my cheeks and my nose and my chin. This just really, really illuminates my face, 
And then for the lips, I'm just using a gorgeous, gorgeous pink shade from L'Oreal. And this is their Color Riche collection, and I'm just using the shade 130. And it's just this gorgeous pink. I've been using it for about a year now, and I just think it's the most gorgeous pink lipstick you'll ever find. Now as I'm feeling I want a really really dewy look for spring, I'm just going to apply some lip gloss. And I'm not a lip gloss fan, but this Laura Geller colour drenched lip gloss is absolutely gorgeous. The pigment is incredible and it's got little glimmery bits, it's not sticky and it just really seals my lipstick into place. And it just really really looks glowy and dewy and just brings my face to life. Ta-da, that is the look complete and it's just so spring-like and I love it so much. So that was the makeup look and I really, really do hope that you enjoyed watching it and I hope that you learned a few things from it so that you can incorporate a few of the things into your spring makeup routine. So yeah, comment below what you thought, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again, it really does mean the world to me and I really hope you enjoyed this makeup look, it's just such a feminine, girly and pink look and I agree adore it so yeah let me know if you adore it too comment below give it a thumbs up and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye